This textbook also has 12 cases in the book and 5 cases available on the website. I, I purposely outreached to certain professors with certain experiences because I, I wanted them to write about issues that I was concerned about. So we have a great case about BP, contemporary and relevant. We have a case about Bernie Madoff. What would you do if you were Bernie Madoff's son? So all these cases have ethical questions in them as well. So if you were Bernie Madoff's son and Bernie tells you, I want one week before you turn me in to the IRS, do you wait one week or do you turn Bernie in? He's your dad. <laughs> He's your father. Do you turn your, your father into the cops right away, even though he asked you to give him seven days? Uh, there's a great case about China, about doing business in China and economic issues in China. There's a case about Kiva, the best practices for philanthropy. We have a case about the financial crisis and Goldman Sachs' role in the financial crisis and what kinds of games stockholders play. Uh, another issue you see on the front page issues, another issue you see on the front page is obesity and fast foods. Uh, I had somebody from California connected with San Jose write a great case about San Jose County, the first political body in the United States to pass legislation that says, McDonald's, if you don't meet certain health guidelines, you can't put toys in your Happy Meals. And that's what the case is about. It's about obesity, it's about McDonald's. Some people are upset about that. But I tell you, since then, San Francisco has done that, and now other cities are looking at that as well. So we're getting at a whole bunch of different issues. Um, sad issues, trafficking kids in Africa. And it's not that it's just Africa, but it, it comes to the United States. So kids are kidnapped in Africa, thinking that they're going to go to school. And then all of a sudden, there are housekeepers for some wealthy person in Paramus, New Jersey. And a lot of the prostitutes, that's forced labor. It's not as though people want to be prostitutes. It's forced labor. And we ask the students, hey, what would you do if you saw a prostitute? What would you do if your, your friends were dealing with a prostitute? Would you talk to them or would you engage in it? And do you realize that prostitute's not going to keep any of that money? She's going to give all the money to the pimp. So you're engaged in this activity. What do you do about a situation like that? We have another nice case about the Holocaust, a company that provided the gas that was used by Hitler. But now that was 40, 50 years ago, and that company has perfect anti-graffiti paint. And in Germany, they want to do a Holocaust museum, and the company's the best one to do the anti-graffiti paint. Should that company apply for that contract, because they know if they apply to it, the whole Holocaust thing is going to come out in the papers. So they're just fascinating cases, exciting cases. A lot of them are internationally based. Some are on great things that companies do, and some are on the more difficult things that our students will face at some point in their lives. Enjoy the cases, and like with everything else, if there's any cases you wish that we did, let me know, and it'll be in the second edition. Thank you.